Hello there. Welcome to the Three Minute Booster. I'm Grace Carter. I'm here with Gabriel Petcher, and we're doing 30 days of inspiration. So, just want to invite Gabriel to talk about our next word, which is interpretation. Um, so, Gabriel, what inspiration can you draw from interpretation? This is a very, very important word. I think it's one of the most significant words we've ever done in this series. Because we think we see the world as it is, but usually we see the world through our interpretations. Mm -hmm. We see something and then our mind comes with the story and we think the story is what we see. You are in traffic, somebody cuts you off, whatever it could be. Your story comes out that asshole, right? What did he just do? Um, he must be a bad person or whatever, or you fail in something. Saying, I'm a bad person. I'm a failure. I'm a loser. This is not what happened. It's your interpretation. Maybe if you learned that person had to go to the hospital to meet a, somebody there in a very difficult situation, you might think about that person differently. Or if you could see that you are actually trying your best and some outside circumstances didn't allow you to perform how you wished, how, how you would want it to do, or you didn't have the information that you needed to perform better. You might not, you, you, you might, you might see that you did your best and you were great at what you did. You just didn't succeed this time. Or if you knew that if you just kept trying, you might have, have, you know, done the thing you wanted to do in the next trial, then the next come after that so it's it's our interpretations that shape how we see ourselves so it's very mm -hmm. important to be aware of that most of the things we think are not the truth but it's the way how we see what's out there in the world wow that's interesting because that would could lead, lead you to perhaps be more cautious about how you interpret things around you if you took that time to do it. So what's your uh, call to action for our audience? So there's a very simple process that can help you to be more in touch with reality. It's, it's to observe your feelings. What do you feel? Observe what just happened that made you feel a certain way. And then observe what you're thinking. And once you're able to make the distinction between what, between what actually, okay, somebody went with that car in front of mine, and then that person is a bad person. If you can separate the two things, you will see, okay, the one is the thing that happened. And the other thing is what I made up that it means. And so mm -hmm. I think just being able to make this distinction helps a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like a, we'd have world peace. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gabriel. And to our audience, thank you for listening. And like, share, comment, and we'll be back with more tomorrow. Bye. Bye.